Games' Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes have brought fans of this franchise together once again. While we have seen this cast together goofing around or on set, we wanted to take a look back at how they put this film together. Everyone, if they thought the tribute they cared about had a chance of winning, people need someone to root for and someone to root against. We need them to invest. We could even have people place bets. As most of us know, this installment of the franchise is meant to be a prequel to the original film, The Hunger Games, setting 64 years before the first Hunger Games. First, we can look at the vision for the costumes. I remember just seeing like, the vast difference between the Academy uniform, which is you know, this bright rouge, they call it Academy Rouge, and it's also very it's like kind of contemporary because she's bringing kilts into it, which is kind of a very contemporary you know, unisex clothing thing. But before we get into more of these moments, today's trivia question. What year did the second installment of Hunger Games book Catching Fire release? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. Nina Jacobson once talked about the casting of the project. Anytime that you're casting somebody, like you say, who's related or a younger version, obviously you're going to lope off a whole bunch of people who could be great, but who just don't look like they would ever grow up to be that person, she explained. You go down the ground from that, swat, that upswing, mm -hmm. when you're crawling, you can have a look for Pamela, so you know where he is. Yeah, because I'm not crawling anymore. I haven't crawled in a many, many a tape. Whatever I'm, happens. I've, yeah, I've been standing <laughs> up because these, I can't crawl in these. Can't on, do much in these. You want to put on some runners? Yeah. No, it's okay. She continued on saying, so you have the demands of, can I believe that this young man becomes that older man? On the Lucy Gray front, even though she's not related to anybody, she has to be able to sing to inhabit that performer's personality, but also to convey both the sort of savviness and street smarts of this character. He would have saved you. <laughs> 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 No, no. Francis Lawrence started being a part of this franchise with Catching Fire and explains the environment of the film even back then and how much potential he has to build off of that. Are you, are you coming to the tree? Wear a necklace of rope Side by side with me Oh, strange things did happen here There were even talks of something that was added into the film that wasn't in the book as far as the games. These snakes went through a lot of development. As described in the novel, they're described as sort of rainbow colored. We thought, how do we do that? And through various iterations, we ended up arriving at this. The surface quality of the snake's skin has a feature which is called iridescence. With the decision to split Mockingjay into two parts, Lawrence said he regretted doing so because fans gave him a hard time. When asked about whether this film should have been two parts, he revealed that someone had even asked if it should be two parts again. I'm fortunate that I was welcomed so warmly on this set, and that I got to share this experience with my best friend Josh and my new best friend Tom and Peter Dinklage. <laughs> my new best friend, Peter Dinklage. <laughs> You can either binge it or wait a week and a new episode comes out, he said. But to say you have an hour and a half long episode of TV and now you have to wait a year for the second half, that's annoying and I get it. So that was not going to happen on my watch this time around. Last month, a peacekeeper and two mine bosses were shot dead in the pits. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Who's the third? What? The person you killed, Corey Lannis, he just said he killed three people. Can you get this out? There was Bobbin in the arena in Mayfair, and who's the third? Lucy Gray! 
I said, are you trying to kill me? After everything I've done for you! Fans have been wondering if this would be Suzanne Collins' last book of the Hunger Games series, and while she has no current concrete plans for a follow-up movie or book, never say never. While these stories technically may not need novels to be developed into films, the producers and filmmakers of the franchise have indicated that they won't produce a new Hunger Games movie without source material from Collins. I would never say that it's an impossibility. Lauren said, I think that Nina and I have both said that we would never do anything that wasn't created by Suzanne. Part of what attracts us is that Suzanne writes when she finds something that she thinks is relevant thematically, and she bases everything on that. One of the biggest technical challenges here is gonna be the shots where we see the snakes crawling up the actor's bodies, and particularly Lucy Gray in her iconic dress. So we started with a series of 3D scans to capture the data of not just the actor's body geometry, but also the fabric of their costumes. And it's really interesting to see the behind the camera moments of when the actors are being trained and guided in where they must stand or how to portray a specific emotion in a certain scene. And four, three, two, one, go! <laughs> The director of Songbirds and Snakes emphasized the need to have a book from Collins before considering this prospect of adding another film to the franchise. Lawrence said if Suzanne has another thematic idea that she feels fit into the world of Panem, whether with new people or familiar characters, I'd be interested in being a part of it. As rough as a bride, like walking through fire. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, the book Hunger Games Catching Fire released in the year 2009. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What are your thoughts on all of this and what are your hopes for the future of this franchise? Jessup? I'm not hungry. You think I can't hear your stomach growling, Jessup Diggs? Hmm. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. Troll comes in, trident. Right, go back this way. Yep. And then it, and then again. Right. And then forward fall. Yeah, and then chase her all the way back. So when you scramble back, tell me how you scramble back here. When yeah, you I was, and then I was sitting up.